Ritual creates sacred space. Music, you'll notice I have a little music playing in the background here. I've got my candle on, incense going. Right. Plus, I just think it's nice. Like candlelight and it smells good. Like anything that's going to make you feel good is great. Like in the brackets is quieting the mind. So, breathe in for five, hold for five, exhale for seven. Okay, so first thing is setting the mood. Um, and I always love this idea of setting the mood. This sort of like in the brackets is quieting the mind um, or ritual. So ritualizing something kind of, it, it, have, have you ever heard of Pavlovian um, training where you, a dog has a Pavlovian response to you ring the bell mm -hmm. at mealtime and the dog salivates? So our minds actually tend to work that way. We have these, we make correlations between certain events and then what will occur. So let's say if every time we're going to have a meal, someone rings a bell, then when we hear the bell, it might make us hungry. Similarly to getting into a sort of ritualized process around getting to a deeper state of mind to connect to angels and fairies automatically starts dropping you down into a more quiet, conscious space. Um, so ritual really is a kind of, I like to think of it as a choreography or a way of doing things that um, helps you slow down, that helps you plug back into yourself, into your divine connectedness. Um, so I love candles, incense, just kind of setting the, the tone, whether it's day or night. Some of us are very sensitive to light, so closing the curtains, whatever works for you. This is purely up to what you feel. Take it as it's, it's your, own, your own magical space, so you create it as you want. Um, one of the things I like to do is I like to smudge. I don't do it all the time, but I do it sometimes. I'll smudge, I'll like do use Palo Santo or Sage to really help clear the space out. If that's something you're familiar with and you want to try, absolutely go for it. Music, you'll notice I have a little music playing in the background here. I've got my candle on, incense going. And these are really just ways to kind of signal to me um, and hopefully you, but also to, to kind of signal to the space that um, we're opening a kind of divine portal into which we are going to invite wisdom, connectedness, and we're going to open ourselves up in a way that when we go out, let's say, into the world, we're not open in that way because then we're sort of absorbing everyone else's energy and thoughts and whatever they're going through all of a sudden, then we're going through it. So. Um, that's another uh, function of ritual is that ritual creates sacred space, which kind of prevent, it kind of creates a barrier um, of, of protection so that you can become more open. Um, and that might not necessarily be how you want to be when you go out into your regular everyday life. So those are uh, my reasons for wanting to set the mood. Plus, I just think it's nice, like candlelight and smells good, like anything that's going to make you feel good is great. You enjoying this so far? Did you forget to subscribe? Make sure to do so. It takes two seconds. Just press that little button. The red one. You know the one. Just press it. Little like. All right. Enjoy the rest of this content. Another wonderful thing to do is to take a salt bath. That really helps to clear your energetic body. Um, and that also helps to calm you down. If you do Epsom salts along with calcium chloride real salt in your bath water, you'll get some of the benefits of absorbing the magnesium, which will help you be calmer as well. Um, so we come at it from every angle we can, physiologically, mentally, and spiritually. All right, so setting the mood. Um, then you, other ways in which you can create mood for yourself don't necessarily have to be physical manipulations or ritual. You can go out into nature. Um, nature naturally has these qualities. So it tends to buffer out negative energy unless you happen to be in a natural spot that you can feel that the energy isn't really resonating in a, in, I'll call it a highway so that there's some places that you go to in nature and they'll, 
they'll make you feel scared. You'll feel like the energy isn't right. And they do exist. So when you come upon them, if you get these sensations, I call like call them warning sensations and that not, might not be a place you want to hang out. Mm -hmm. But by and large, nature is a very friendly buffering environment. And as long as you're somewhere that you feel safe, then I say that this is a really great place to go to connect to angels and fairies, particularly fairies. Mm -hmm. um, other ways in which you can sort of set the mood and quiet the mind. This deals, these deal a little bit more with quieting of the mind, breathing. Breathing is really essential. Um, it is considered in many esoteric traditions to be probably one of the most effective, if not the most effective ways to begin to connect to source within yourself and to quiet your mind. Um, simple breathing exercise, you don't, it doesn't have to be complicated pranayama in the yogic tradition. It can just be elongating your inhalation, holding your breath, and then elongating your exhalation. I like to just count and um, maybe do five counts inhalation, five counts holding the breath, and five counts exhalation. Um, generally what I'll do is I'll try to make the exhalation a little bit longer than the inhalation and the period for which I hold it. So breathe in for five, hold for five, exhale for seven. Um, and that has a tendency to really slow the mind down and make the body actually start to slow down. So physiologically, the heart rate, the parasympathetic versus sympathetic nervous system, it really actually transmutes you on a physiological chemical level if you like this content make sure that you like subscribe and comment below and we also have amazing link right there for some cool product i know you want to check it out i know you want to click it go ahead go ahead come on you can do it all right until next time have a beautiful blessed day